हेलो नेटवर्किंग एंथोजियस्ट वेलकम टू द चैनल गॉड ऑफ नेटवर्किंग टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कॉन्फ़िगर इंटरव्यू लाइन इन सोनिक एज वी नो इन सोनिक बाय डिफॉल्ट ऑल द पोर्ट्स आर इन लेयर थ्री एंड ऑल पोर्ट्स हैव असाइन डिफॉल्ट आईपी एड्रेसेस सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द वीडियो आई हैव रिमूव्ड ऑल दोस डिफॉल्ट आईपी एड्रेसेस नाउ आई विल कॉन्फ़िगर is switch one by one for interview line now first of all i will configure switch s1 here is switch s1 now first of all i will show you the status of ip interfaces by using command show ip interfaces as we can see here all the ports which we have to use in our topology are not listed in the table because i have removed all those default ip addresses from these interfaces now i will show you vlan table by using command show vlan brief as we can see here there is no vlan in the table now i will create two vlans by using command sudo config vlan at 10 now i will repeat the same command for vlan 20 now i will check the vlan table by using command show vlan brief as we can see here vlan 10 and 20 are listed in the table and both are ready to be used now i will repeat the same steps for our for switch s2 now sudo config vlan at 10 repeat the same command for vlan 20 now i will check the status of vlan by using command show vlan brief as we can see here on switch s2 both vlans have been created now i will go into switch s1 here now i will bind each port with the vlan as we can see here ethernet 0 and 4 are intact because these are access ports while ethernet 8 is a tag because it is a trunk port this is a ethernet 8 now i will go into switch s1 now i will use command sudo config vlan member add leg u untag sudo config vlan member add 10 ethernet 0 now repeat the same command for ethernet 4 now use the same command without flag u for ethernet 8 now repeat the same command for vlan 20 flag u means untag if we do not use flag u it mean the port will be act as a tag vlan as a tag will be used now i will check the status of vlan by using command show vlan brief oops i have made some mistake sudo config vlan oh here sudo config vlan member at 20 first of all i have to remove this sudo config vlan member delete and ethernet 4 repeat the same command and here vlan 20 now again i will check the status of vlan by using command show vlan brief here now as we can see ethernet 0 and 4 as are intact while ethernet 8 is a tag port because it is a trunk port now i will repeat the same steps for s2 now i will go into s2 oh i have removed this terminal okay no worries now i will repeat the same command by using sudo config 
vlan member add and tag then ethernet 0 sudo config vlan member at 20 ethernet 4 and repeat the same commands for ethernet 8 without and tag uh, 20 now i will check the status of vlan by using command show vlan brief as we can see here same set of the commands have been executed on s2 and the same table is replicated here on s2 now i will save the configuration by using command sudo config save by now i will also save configurations on s1 by using command sudo config save by now as we can see here it is actually an inter vlan so we have to assign ips to these vlan interface okay there is a difference between interface vlan and interface vlan vlan there is no ip assigned to vlan while for interface vlan a specific ip is assigned to it now i will go into switch s1 and assign ips to vlans by using command sudo config interface ip add vlan then 192.168.100.1 slash 24 oops space is there yeah the interesting thing about this command is that this v must be capital in vlan 10 now i will repeat the same command for vlan 20 and 200.1 now again i will save the configuration by using command sudo config save by now i will check the status of ip interfaces by using command show ip interfaces as we can see here vlan 10 and 20 are listed in the table and ip addresses have been assigned to them now i will go into switch s2 and repeat the same steps by using command sudo config interface ip add vlan 10 192.168.100.1 slash 24 here 200.1 and vlan 20 now i will save configurations by using command sudo config save y now again i will check the status of ip interfaces by using command show ip interfaces as we can see here vlan 10 and 20 are present in the table and the ip addresses have been assigned to them now now i will check the status of ip addresses of all the hosts now i will check the status of ip of host 4 by using command show ip as we can see here no ip address is assigned to it now assign the IP address by using command IP 192.168.200.3/24 and the gateway. Gateway is 192.168.200.1. Now I will check the status of this IP by using command show IP. As we can see here, IP address has been assigned. Now I will check the status of IP address of PC3 by using command show IP. Okay again show ip so before starting of the video i have assigned ip address to pc1 pc2 and pc3 because it is a redundant step now i will generate a ping request from pc1 to pc4 because both are in different vlan now ping 192.168.200.3 we can see here pc1 is 
getting reply from PC4 and the TTL is decremented by 1 which shows it is an interface VLAN. Now I will generate a ping request from PC2 to PC3 ping 192.168.100.3 because both are also in different VLAN. Oh yes everything is fine now i will go into switches and show you the config db actually for all l2 configurations the configurations are saved in config db and the path of config db is this slash etc slash sonic slash config db dot json this is the default path for the configurations for all L2 protocols. Now I will go into it by using command cat slash etc slash sonic slash config db dot json. And now I will show you here. Here all the VLANs for all the configurations are written in this file config db.json here we can see vlan 20 vlan 10 vlan member ip addresses here here we can see so in sonic all the configurations for l2 l2 protocol are saved in config db so thank you guys for watching my video if you want more videos like this kindly subscribe my channel